and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all ready because yes, there is plenty more news to discuss here ahead of a big, big weekend for Barca because of course we can't forget we've got a game coming up on Saturday there against Alaves as could this be the day that Ousmane Dembele returns from injury and we're also going to have the latest on Ansu Fati and Ricky Pooch. But of course... There's still plenty to discuss regarding Xavi Hernandez. We are going to have the very latest news as he bids to become the new Barca coach. And he today has received a special recommendation from none other than Pep Guardiola. It is all coming up. So let's get to it. Because like I say, guys, in amongst all of this new Barca coach talk, what we can't forget is that right here and now, the games are still coming. Barca here have got a very, very important game in the league on Saturday at home against Alaves. They're kicking off at 9pm local time on Saturday. And I really do hope there's a good attendance tomorrow inside the cap now. We have to get behind a team, especially right now, drag them through this turbulent time. We need everybody united heading into the this fixture because as you can see from the league table there's a lot of work to do we are not in a place where we belong we're not in a place where we want to be for any longer any amount of time than we have to be so what we got to do here is get three points on the board the league right now is very unpredictable teams are dropping points all over the place which means that if you can get a win you can be moving up there quite quickly. And I think certainly coming into this game, guys, one of the things that I was really wondering is how you're feeling. Obviously, we have sat Ronald Koeman now in charge of the team. Is Sergi Bahuan on that interim basis? We don't know how many games exactly he's going to be with us. But how are you feeling here? Are you feeling a lot more confident, a lot more optimistic? Are you feeling maybe a little bit more hopeful? Or are you not expecting any change at all in this game? And I think you're absolutely right there to go in the middle. I don't think we should go too over the top. We shouldn't expect here Sergi Bahuan to change many many things overnight it's not going to be like that with him it's not going to be like that with Xavi we've said that already but I think what we can see hopefully is just a bit of release I think for the players there having that final decision now being made on Kuman, I think it will have been a relief for them to have all of that negative energy that was surrounding the club sort of drift away right now we can focus again on the football we can try and get some positive results and hopefully what we'll see tomorrow is a Barca team that may contain a bit more confidence. But in terms of exactly who is going to be available for Saturday's game against Alaves, there is both good and bad news to discuss on that front. So let's right here get the bad news out of the way. It's regarding Ansu Fati, of course, missed the game in midweek there against Rayo Vallecano with knee discomfort. And that was something there that was believed to only be a very slight knock. Now today, Sergi Bajuan in the press conference admitted that Ansu Fati did not train today with the rest of the team. And as a result of that, it's near impossible possible that he is going to be playing in this Barca team tomorrow. Now, what I would say right now is that still, there's no real cause for big concern, for big panic. There is a feeling right now in the media that the club maybe are being very, very careful and they're just making sure that Ansu is going to be 100% fit and 100% ready for Tuesday's game. Obviously, this one, it's important, but I think in Kiev, in the Champions League, that's a vital game. It's a must-win game for this club. And we'll be hoping that come then, we can call again on Ansu. However, like I say, there is some good news to discuss. Because I want to talk here about Ousmane Dembele, who has been all week long training with the team. Successive days there, feeling really good. He's 100% ready. He's 100% recovered and available to play in this match. And Sergi Bajuan earlier on today, he said there's a real chance that Dembele is going to be included in the squad list. And I really do believe that this game here against Alaves, this is going to be the game where we do see Dembele's long-awaited return. Which, again, looking ahead to Tuesday, Tuesday, that Champions League game, where you'd also want him to feature, it's really good timing indeed. And I think it's going to be a big boost for us. I think having Dembele back available, he's somebody that does give you something very, very different. We don't really have another player like him in the team, the kind of characteristics that he does have. And I also don't think we should forget, guys, that last season, looking at what he was able to do throughout the season, he played a lot of games. He did actually keep himself very, very fit last season. And he did manage to score some key goals as well. And things did seem to be really looking up for Dembele. But then, of course, in the summer, once again, disaster struck. 
struck another long-term injury whilst away at the Euros. And I think especially with Dembele right now, it's fascinating with Xavi on the horizon. We spoke yesterday about Xavi's love there of wide players, about natural wingers there who are going to keep their width and can give the team real pace in the wide areas. Dembele, 110%, he has those attributes. He has something there that Xavi would definitely like to have in his team. And of course, Xavi will be hoping that Dembele there can keep himself fit, that he can keep himself available in this team. And another thing too, that we'll need to resolve, of course, is his contract situation. Finally though, with regards to tomorrow's game, somebody as well who I would like to discuss is Ricky Pooch, because right now when you're looking at our midfield options, Pedri remains on the sidelines now for several weeks to come. Sergio Roberto also got injured against Raya Vallecano. He's very unlikely to play tomorrow. Frankie de Jong is only just coming back. He should be available, but again, he's coming off the back of an injury, and I think right now, the door is opening more than it ever has before, more than it has certainly during Ronald Koeman's time at the club for Ricky Pooch. Because obviously we've seen him show incredible patience. How he's done it, I have no idea there. To be sitting back every single week watching other players play ahead of him time and time again. But now, I think finally here this weekend and moving on in the games to come, Ricky is going to get opportunities, even if it's just coming off the bench there, to have a chance to prove himself. It'll be more than what he was getting before. He is going to be motivated. He's going to want to show that he should have been playing. And I'm really excited to see how it works out. But of course, guys, as much as we're all looking forward to seeing how Barca can get on against Alaves tomorrow, in the background, of course, we are still very much listening out for all of the latest news when it comes to Xavi coming to Barca. Obviously, earlier on today, we spoke over on More Talk FCB where Laporta was glowing in his praise for Xavi. He said, you know what? I really, really like him as a coach. He's somebody who I've been hearing really good things about. And he certainly didn't hide there that one day it's inevitable that Xavi is going to be here in that Barca managerial seat and of course we're hoping that will be very very soon indeed the word right now from Fabrizio Romano who is always one of the most reliable journalists when it comes to these matters and he said today that Barca are already preparing all the paperwork all the contracts there to get ready and appoint Xavi as their new coach and as soon as he's reached that agreement there to release him from his current Al Sadd deal which like we said runs until 2023 as soon as that happens then Xavi will be the new Barca coach. Right now, Al Sad, as we explained yesterday, still do want to keep Xavi until mid next week. They still want him to be in charge for two final games at their club. But once that's over, they will allow him to leave for free. It looks like we're not going to have to pay a termination fee. And Xavi's first game could come next weekend against Celta Vigo. And of course, the subject of Xavi Hernandez is something right now that is worldwide news. Everybody is getting asked about it. Everybody is thinking about it, talking about it. Xavi is the name on everyone's lips. And as a result of that, even Pep Guardiola there in his Man City press conference today ahead of their game this weekend, he was asked there about Xavi potentially becoming the Barcelona coach. Pep said, first of all, I don't really know what's going to happen. He said, I don't have any information, anything like that. He said, what's official right now is that Sir talking about Sergi Bajuan. It's official that he's currently in charge. And of course, I wish him the very best of luck because Pep said he's actually a really, really close friend of mine. Pep was asked about the comparisons there and maybe the similarities between himself and the start of his coaching journey, of course, that went through Barca B, the Barca youth level, and then the big Barca job. And then similarities between him and Xavi at the start of their coaching careers and whether Xavi is going to be ready to take on this challenge and I think Pep's answer was really really reassuring for us Barca fans he said with Xavi I'm pretty sure that sooner or later it's going to happen Pep said you know what he is going to be the Barca coach at some point that's obvious he said listen I don't have any doubts that he's ready for the job he said he knows the club he understands the environment inside the club and he said in that particular job at Barca he said that is so so important Pep said Xavi knows the game very well he's passionate and actually Pep went on to say that he has more experience right now than I did when I took over at Barcelona. And that is very, very interesting indeed. Many people talking about Xavi's lack of experience. And indeed, that's true at the European top level. But Pep believes there that the experience that he's gained there in Qatar over these past two years as that first team coach will really stand him in good stead. But Pep said 
like Kuma knows, like Sergi knows, like Chavi knows, and like I know, the success that you will have at any given club, it depends on the quality and the commitment of your players. He said people often forget that we as coaches... We're not responsible for everything. And he said, that's why. And this for me is Pep just being modest, because this is absolutely, for me, not the case at all. He said, I've said many times that the success that I've had in Barcelona was because of the quality of the players that we had. He said, Xavi was included in that. But I think we all know, anybody who watched Pep's Barca, yes, we had great players, but it was Pep who gave them that platform. Pep who created the system and really brought that team to life. So that's just him there being very, very modest. Pep said, I wish Sergi the best of luck. And then he said, just in case Xavi will be the next coach, I wish him all the best too. And he said, hopefully they can, step by step, bring the team back to where it deserves to be. And I think it is always very fascinating as Barca fans, of course, to hear what Pep has to say. I think his opinion really counts for all of us. What he thinks certainly means a lot. And quite clearly there, he has confidence in Xavi. He believes he does have the right experience. He does have the right know-how of the club to succeed here. But of course it is too down to what the players can do. And it will be down to Xavi to convey his ideas in a way that really gets through to them. But let me know, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How you're feeling about the entire Xavi situation situation right now. Are you looking forward? Are you excited for him to come in and get started in this Barca job? And of course, head of tomorrow, a big game that we have there at the camp now against Alaves. What would your starting lineup be? What are you expecting from the game to come? There'll be plenty more coming your way. And of course, tomorrow, after the game, all of the reaction when hopefully we can get ourselves three vital points. I will see you soon, guys. And I thank you indeed for your amazing support right here and over on the second channel on More Talk FCB. It means a lot, and hopefully we are moving forward together. I will see you soon. But until next time, as always, Vishka El Pasha. Uh -huh.